Hello gamers and anime lovers. Hello everybody. Let me get my uh, shit pushed in. I mean, what? <laughs> I mean, let me get my all my shit together here. Dude, it's been a fucking month. It's been a month with no One Piece chapter. That's insane, dude. That is insane. I can't believe we haven't had any new One Piece content for a whole month. Well, at least this gives Oda so much more time to... Um, he gives Oda so much more time to get everything like straightened out for the next couple chapters. There were a couple chapters in the last few months that were... Somewhat not completed. Some of the rough drafts didn't get completed um, on certain panels. Uh, like the one Kuma chapter comes to mind. There was like one in like the last two chapters, I think, that had a, a, a panel that was like that. So, yeah, I I think he's gonna he's gonna be right now, and he probably got his time to mourn with uh, Akira Sensei and everything. So. Yeah, I'm trying this at four o'clock. I don't. It's a four o'clock on a Friday. Um, you know, we normally do this late at night, so I'm kind of just changing it up to see what kind of, uh, you know, turnout we can get. It's kind of last minute, I would think. Well, it's a bit. I gave you guys like three hours. Like I gave you three hours of notice. That's usually less than I would like to. I just didn't know like when this chapter was gonna come out. Um. I didn't know when this chapter was going to come out because like, uh, obviously it was, it's early technically. Like, uh, it's, well, it's four weeks since the last chapter. So I didn't know like when this chapter was going to come out. So I didn't know like when to post, like that when I was going to do the video or not or when, what time, cause I didn't know when it was going to actually come out. So. All right, let's get the this up on the screen here if I can. Doesn't seem to be working properly yet. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's in the wrong spot. I don't know. No, it's there. Oh yeah, it's it's looking at the wrong one. That's why. Okay, we got it. I think I got it now. So, okay, yeah, then I lock the preview. I've, it's been a while since I've done this. <laughs> I have to add the... What? What happened to my... Uh, what? My filters. The filters are not working. I have to make new filters? Well, that sucks. Where is it? Fuck. Dude, I don't even remember how I did that before. Maybe it was image mask. Uh, this sounds familiar. I think I did do it like this before. Hold on a second. I just got to make sure I don't get copyrighted. So. It's not applying it to this mask though. I wonder why. Sorry, give me a second here. We're working this out. It's not doing it. What the heck? This is really strange. I'm just gonna delete this, maybe this source. It's okay, it is like, this is not good. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here. Um. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just trying to figure this out. I don't know why this is still showing up on screen. It's probably not even Ah, 
I see why. Never mind. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Okay, yeah, we figured it out. I had two sources on there that shouldn't have been there. Okay, we did it. We did it. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, we're here. We're doing it. One Piece manga chapter 1,112. We are live. Um, I don't even remember where we left off, honestly. Maybe I should go to the last chapter and just, like, scroll through it really quick just because I totally forgot. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So everybody was doing their... Uh, all the uh, Gorosei were doing their shit. Uh, we had the Sun Shield. Okay. We had uh, Peter, Jupiter being the bird up here looking for York. We had him asking for him to save um, Kaku. Okay. Luffy and talking to um, Dorian Brogy. And then they get attacked by fucking which, which one is this? I forget his name. Uh, fuck. Mercury, right? Mercury. Mercury is this guy. <laughs> Luffy loses all of his stuff. And then he puts it all back on. <laughs> they block his attack. Done well. Split Skilda. The Venom. He makes the bat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember this. Yeah, he makes the bat and swings it like a baseball bat. You're not going anywhere. Bonnie comes in. My wounds run deep. Oh, and then the... Right. Okay, and then the robot started getting up. Okay. All right, so I just wanted to try to just quickly run through that because it's been a whole month. <laughs> Since we've seen that. All right. So we got the cover story with Yamato continuing. Oni Child Yamato and the Holy Inari Shrine Pil Pilgrimage. Volume 3. Consider this parting gift payment for a favor I must ask of you. Yamato. With the hearts coming out in front of Kiyomo. What the heck? Hard aspect is what the name of the chapter is. In astrology, an aspect refers to the angles formed by planets in relation to each other on a birth chart or a horoscope wheel. Translator's note, parting gift. So what is Yamato going to have to do for Kiyomon then? <laughs> All right, let's see Oda's note. Thank you for waiting through my break. That was just what I needed in terms of maintenance. I'm going to go all out now. Oda, take it easy, man. <laughs> take it easy. We still need you for the next five years, however long it takes you. Okay, man, we need you to finish this. Okay. The Mark III pacifista have all been inca incapacitated. Don't let up. Keep firing. We can't let Emperor Straw Hat crew escape. The onslaught continues. The Marines still attacking. The pacifistas are being disabled. Because of uh, Venus Juro. It'll be a disaster if Jewelry Bonnie gets away. She's no more than a mere than a little 12-year-old girl. And you gave her the power to eradicate entire nations? Your defiance is as foolish as it is insolent, Vegapunk. But Vegapunk's dead. Like, we already know this. Like, well, we think he is. Let's hurry back to the ship. Yeah, some scary-looking guys just arrived. Boosh, boosh, boosh. Stop them from setting stale. Target the ship from Elbaf and sink it. Get to the northeastern front on the double. And then we got a double page spread here. Frankie jumping at the freaking vice admirals. I'm not letting you through. Steam. Strong. Righto. Oh. Frankie. Messing up the seven chin vice admiral. Let's go. Wait, what is that thing that he's like his arm oh steam was his attack and he broke his his fist punched through it and his face hey giants take care of my dad you bet oh that's bonnie talking uh brace yourself jewelry bonnie you stupid miserable brat we're not gonna keep you on uh, keep a single one of our war machines let you keep a single one of our war machines uh oh he's not a weapon oh turned him into a kid my daddy is a hero, you cleft-chinned geezer. <laughs> Kicks him in the face. 
This is hard to watch. Stop it. <laughs> Damn, legs though. <laughs> Labo Stratum, aren't you going to drink that Vega coffee of yours? Don't tease me, Shaka. It's too hot. You know my tongue's as sensitive as a cat's. There's only four minutes left now, Stella. This is definitely the same room. Sip sick. Ah, God. There's no doubt this is where it was filmed, but oh, he got to York. Like off screen. <laughs> Blows it up. Wait a sec. Don't do anything crazy. Stella, there's not enough time. But we can cool the coffee down if we use a thermal electric device to alternate the... See, you didn't stop diddly squat. If I were Stella, I'd have made sure the broadcast snail was well hidden. Then I shall continue until the entire lab is vaporized. That'd be a mistake. The second floor of Building B is dedicated to weapons development, and the first floor houses the power station. Not only that, but the third floor of Building C stores a number of high-pressure gas cylinders. If you damage any of those, the resulting explosion will blow punk records to smithereens. Then think of a solution. You satellites all share an identical thought process, correct? Well, wouldn't that be exactly what he wants? Like, wouldn't he just blow the entire thing? And then he'd, he'd def for sure blow it up? Of course, I know exactly how to stop this. Besides, we don't want to rack up any more sins. Our relationship is already troubled enough. What is she doing? What is she holding? What? I sense the voice of a small life from above. You mean from Punk Records? Don't tell me he hid the snail there. It'll be I'll it'll be one of the broadcast snails we recently finished developing. They're shaped like this with a sort of triangular shell. Where is the entrance? Stussy. Huff huff, what a relief. It's gone. Guess it wasn't interested in us. The feeling is mutual. Kaku Stussy, why are you helping Kaku out right now? What in the blue blazes was that monster? Going off of what we overheard, I think it's one of the five elders. Go figure, what a repulsive transformation. So why are you still here? Did you your new pals leave you high and dry? It'd be downright heartbroken. I'd be downright heartbroken if it weren't for your own dub, recent double cross. I decided to stay of my own volition. Someone needed to be here to carry out this final mission. Is Stussy... Is Stussy sacrificing herself for something to keep the broadcast going or something? Like that? Hang on, we're gonna just we're just gonna leave Stussy behind. There's no help in it. That darn barrier has to be lowered the instant the ship attempts its big escape. We're just gonna leave Stussy behind? And mind you, the front deer frontier dome can only be disarmed from the command tower. The lady wanted to do it herself. Oh, Stussy's disarming the barrier so they can leave. We can only respect that and show our gratitude by getting out of here alive. Of course, we won't waste this chance to escape, but the thing is, how are we meant to cover the distance that the Vega Force 1 was originally going to fly us? That's the real head-scratcher here, Nico Robin. According to my calculations and all conventional wisdom, we're 100% guaranteed to crash and burn. Well, that's good. Seriously? <laughs> Guys, I finished loading the Cuda Burst. We can take off toward the sea the second Zoro and the others get on the board. If we don't make it, we'll have to improvise and rely on everyone's powers. Let's get it our haul. Ah ha ha, wowee, this sure is a rowdy crew. They say miracles happen. Just, they say miracles happen because guts triumph overall, and love that. Oh, I, and I love that theory, even if I am a scientist. <laughs> Edison, what are you doing? I'm gonna make sure your ship reaches the ocean. Trust me, projected damage is 78 percent. Ah, ain't dying, not yet. Edison jumps down through the barrier himself. Oh, we're back to Luffy. A terrible vortex is emanating from the island. He's sucking. What power he's sucking us in? We're not getting anywhere, Luffy. Damn. If you're so hungry, try chewing on this building. He kicks the building off in half and then throws it at him. And he goes behind him and stretches his head backwards in the shape of the building. Oh, another another one. God, Oda's going with the two-page spreads here. Go! Go! Ba, 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 ba. This is a real thrill. Willie, wheeze, I'm beat. Luffy, already? You look like an old man. I'm all out of food and power. Food? 
Want some of our Hakarl? Hakarl? Blech, what's this smell? It's fermented shark. It's an emergency ration from Elbaf. Gah, bah, bah, bah. It may stink, but it's tasty. Oh, that hit the spot. Gah, 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 gah. Your body's so expressive. You're back to normal. He's like Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> the boar is charging. Gah, sado. Gamu, gamu. Red the rock. Oh, we can do red rock just from gear third? I think it had to be gear fourth for that. Okay. Ow! How is this hard as this guy's skin? He didn't take any damage at all. Labo Stratum back entrance. Hey, hey, hang on. What the who, who in the world? Who goes there? It looks like Saturn's pulling up. Saturn's pulling up on the straw hats up here. Nami's booty is not safe. Northeast coast. The giant. Ah, uh, who the heck is that? Barney's booty. Venus Juro. Punk records. Labo Stratum. There's only one more minute, Stella. I know, I know. This must be it. It seems fortune did not favor the dude this time, Vegapunk. Gurgle, gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle. Front cover and color spread next issue. No break next week. Chapter 1112 end. Dude, this panel right here of Venus Juro pulling up on Atlas, Bonnie, and Frankie. Dude, how how do we fight this? Like, are these people are not like Nami up here and Usopp and Chopper are not gonna have to do anything against Saturn. Luffy can hardly do anything against Warrior. You're telling me Venus Juro is pulling up here on them too, and Jupiter is on and has made it to the snail, and he's gonna and their mission's gonna fail. Gonna read some of these uh, comments. What's up, who? You just missed the rest of the chapter, but. I just finished reading the chapter. I was just going through some of the comments. Oh, I got Jupiter and Mars mixed up. That's my bad. I have not beat Zelda yet. No. I have not beat Zelda yet. I'm planning on doing it soon. Well, thanks for hopping in, man. Some people think that perhaps... Some people think that perhaps um, this is not real, or like this. Like, did York betray the the elders here? Is he double crosser? You think Zoro is gonna pull up on Venus Juro right now? Pretty good chapter, guys. Pretty good chapter. This is a badass Frankie panel for sure. This was the coolest Frankie panel I've seen. And some nice legs from, from Bonnie. This is what the, I'm questioning. She stopped him from blowing up the entire lab. And then sent him on his own to find the... the uh, The snail, the broadcast snail. I feel like she didn't tell him the truth, maybe. Maybe York is not all bad? Unsure. Edison jumping down for some reason. 
Luffy continuing to fight with Dorian Bragi. Red Rock also slammed Kaido. Just think about that for a second. Red Rock did so much damage to Kaido, and it did nothing to Warkiri and hurt Luffy to use it. And then we have, at the end of the chapter, Saturn pulling up on Usopp, Nami, Chopper, Lilith. Well, that's not good. And then Venus Juro pulling up on Bonnie, Atlas, and Frankie is real bad. And then Mars here walking up on this. I got to think that I don't think it's real. I think that this message is going to go out. I think Vegapunk's dying message will go out some way or some, some way or another. Great chapter, guys. Great chapter. But I think that's all I can say for it for today. If you're watching this VOD after the fact, I will probably try to do this later at night next time because we didn't get as many uh, live viewers as I was hoping that we would get from the time change. So I'll just go back to doing it at like 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock on uh, my time next week. Um, well, I think I'll have to anyway because I'll be at work next week <laughs> on a Friday. If it's on a Friday, if it's on Thursday, then I can do it anytime on Thursday, but if it's on Friday again, then it's going to be probably at later, like seven hours later than now for the next chapter. But if you're watching the VOD, let me know your theories and thoughts on the chapter down in the comment section below. Who? Appreciate you for dropping by. I'll do another Zelda stream this weekend, hopefully. Um, so look out for that. Maybe Sunday night, maybe, maybe t tonight, even even further tonight. I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, great chapter of One Piece as always. It's good to be back. Fucking epic. Loved it. Thank you guys so much for joining.